In Afghanistan, finding good medical care is challenging. In rural, often mountainous areas, health provision has always been basic or absent, and three decades of war has devastated the health system which existed before the Soviet invasion of 1979. Realizing the difficulty and the problem in the field, uh, Aga Khan and the Ministry of Public Health came to this agreement if we can find a solution how to reach to those remote areas where there is no uh, social and environmental uh, facilities. The professionals, they are not eager and they are not willing to go to such remote areas. And unfortunately, still, security concerns are there and they are very remote, very scattered, small villages. The Aga Khan Development Network, or AKDN, promotes development in Afghanistan, including operating three hospitals, 37 clinics and 230 basic health posts. The network has introduced telemedicine to help provide better treatment and health care training in remote communities. So what do you do in your routine clinic? Afghanistan's leading telecommunications company Roshan, an AKDN investment, has provided the technical expertise and funding to establish telemedicine links between hospitals managed by the network. Telemedicine, or e-health, improves healthcare for patients by enabling medical staff to use new technology to carry out essential tasks faster and more efficiently such as diagnosing the health problems of patients in remote rural areas, treating or referring these patients to specialist medical staff and providing on-the-job training for rural health workers. This technology has brought a lot of changes to people's lives here in Bamiyan. People have been persuaded to come to this hospital because it's now like they have the French Medical Institute on their doorstep. The patients who've had their checkup through this process are satisfied. Roshan has established the telemedicine links between the French Medical Institute for Children in Kabul, the Aga Khan University Hospital in Karachi, Pakistan, Bamiyan Provincial Hospital in Central Afghanistan and Faizabad Provincial Hospital in the northeast of the country. Doctors in Bamiyan and Faizabad can now consult medical specialists in Kabul via live connection on the telemedicine screen to obtain a sound diagnosis for patients with more complex cases. By having this telemedicine link or providing a high bandwidth link for them to be able to communicate and to have education, they're not only able to send files of patients, histopathology, uh, as well as being able to do online uh, real-time uh, instruction and then offline they can also do lectures and e-learning. As a healthcare provider, we should follow the precautions. The areas like Badakhshan and Faisabad, these are the areas where they do not have the capacity of doing these kind of on the job training. By person, they do not have the facility. Uh, by, by means of resources, they do not have this capacity so that they can train their nurses on continuous basis. So this is one of the way through which we can reach those staff who cannot get these kind of training otherwise. So, you know, e-learning is providing the opportunity to reach those staff who are living far, who cannot come here, and we are able to teach, you know, 20, 40 people at one point in time. The network has been able to introduce telemedicine in the challenging conditions of Afghanistan by leveraging the private sector expertise and funding assistance of Roshan, its AKDM partner. The private sector, which will have the technology or the vision or the ability to donate um, can make a difference in countries like Afghanistan. And we have been the proponent of pushing this. And because of our model, which is we have the non-profit side and the profit side, we've really been able to synergize the two, which is the ideal execution for uh, and what the Al Khan Development Network stands for. There are plans to expand the network of health facilities in Afghanistan and to link them via telemedicine. AKDN is working at many levels to help the Afghan government build an integrated healthcare system. Jamal Nasser recently completed a Bachelor of Science degree in nursing at Kabul Medical University. For the first few weeks we were taught management theory for the Aga Khan hospitals. For example, we had lectures on medication, pharmacology, IVs and CPR. After we got our certificates from the American Association, 
we got practical training through working with other nurses. In addition to improving health and sanitation in rural communities, the network also trains midwives who are essential for reducing Afghanistan's very high rate of maternal mortality. Through its integrated development programs, the Aga Khan Development Network is bringing some of the most modern communications technology to Afghanistan, helping the Afghan government build a sustainable health system for the benefit of the people of a new Afghanistan.